Hey guys, so we are doing a massive wardrobe clean out today. It is an issue how many clothes I have. It is stressful and we're gonna sort it out. As you can see, I've already emptied my wardrobe out onto the sofa. We are gonna go through like everything, all the clothes under my bed and we are going to declutter. Um, we're gonna talk about slow fashion as well. And I'm gonna share some good habits I have, some new habits I'm trying to onboard. And yeah, just gonna keep it kind of casual. Normally at the start of like autumn and the warmer side of spring, I will go through my wardrobe. I put all my out season stuff in suitcases under my bed. So I've just got those out and we're gonna go through some of my winter stuff, some of my autumn stuff and remember how cold it can get. And I will put away some of my summery stuff. So the stuff I just know I won't wear until maybe June next year. And whilst we're doing that, we are going to go through a lot of my clothes. I'm gonna sort my stuff into a few different piles. I'm gonna keep some good things. I'm gonna put some stuff in storage. And I'll also have a couple of different piles for stuff that needs to be donated, resold, clothes swapped, whatever. And then stuff that needs to be mended. So that is what we've got going on today. So thank you for joining me. And like I said, we will be discussing slow fashion as we go through. So this is the setup. I've got a mirror here so that when I try anything on, I can see how I look. This is the big pile of clothes I currently have from my wardrobe. I had this stuff under my bed and we haven't, we haven't even emptied out the drawers yet. So this is what's really stressing me out. I just, I'm not putting clothes away because everything is over full. We're going to tackle this soon as well. Everything's a mess. It's upsetting me and we're going to sort it out. I promise. Can't wait to go through shoes as well. Like I have way too many and that is also upsetting me. I'm just trying to figure out if this jumper here, is it too close to my skin tone? Is it a look or is it just bleh? I just don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go through jumpers like separately later. I think once I have all my jumpers, I think I'll make a jumper pile and then we'll just go, yeah, I will do that. I'll have a jumper pile. I'll see how many different jumpers I have and then we'll cull them separately. This dress here, I absolutely love. I don't know, I think I'm still just a little bit too big for it. This is the first time it's actually zipped up in a long time. I don't know, maybe it's a spank situation, but I don't wanna wear that. Hopefully by Christmas, you might see me out in this. I'm so glad I never got rid of this. I thought I'd never fit into it again, but here we are. I love this. I forgot I had it. I need to figure out, like, if I do wear it out, what I'm doing with my bra. God, I want somewhere to wear this to. I got this recently off of eBay and I am in love with it. I feel like it'd be perfect for a really nice dinner date. Obviously it needs an iron. I just really want to wear it. There are so many pretty things. Like people need to take me to pretty places. I need to take myself to pretty places. This is definitely one of my best thrift finds in a long time. And I'm in love with it. I love it so much. I am not allowed to buy any more pretty evening dresses. I mentioned earlier that I like to put stuff away for the season. So I've got like a pile of summer stuff over here and we're just about to empty out the winter stuff from last year. So for example, velvety dresses, you're not gonna wear those in the summer. So they go away. Fluffy pajamas, a few more jumpers. Like I said, all the jumpers are going over there. A nice velvet skirt, just stuff like this. Okay, we'll take a look through this and then we're gonna reload it with summer stuff. 
One of the big benefits of doing this, obviously, is for space. It's just nice to clear this stuff away so that you've got more space in your wardrobe and you just hide it away under your bed. And that's just really helpful, especially if you live in a small London flat like me. One benefit of this is that it does feel like you've just got like a big haul of clothes. Because you haven't seen all this stuff for around like six months, it's really exciting when you uncover it and discover these old favorites again. And that's just quite special. And it's a way of kind of like getting that new clothes feeling without buying any new clothes. So I think that's quite a good slow fashion tip. Next topic, weight fluctuation in a sustainable wardrobe. So for me, I'm one of those people whose weight will fluctuate. At my slimmest, I'm probably like a big size 10. And then at my heaviest, it's normally like I'm a size 14. And it's quite a natural thing for me. And I know for a lot of people, it's just like your life might change as your lifestyle will change throughout the years. Sometimes you'll be a little heavier, sometimes you'll be a little lighter. It just depends on what's going on in your life. But it can be really difficult with clothes. And especially if you're on the heavier side and you're unhappy about it, it can be quite bad for you to hold on to smaller clothes. I think it's just really important to be quite honest with yourself about what your weight is likely to look like in the future. Like for me earlier, I found some jeans that were too big for me, but I'm not gonna get rid of them because there is a chance that I will want them again. And there were some clothes that were too small for me last winter, which I hung on to. And this winter, they fit me again so it's one of those weird things where I'm quite grateful I didn't over declutter any of my larger items or any of my smaller items but I do know other people who like say were very slim in their teenage years so they'll have clothes that fit them when they were 19 but you like five years has gone by and their body has changed and they still cling on to these items and feel bad about themselves for not fitting into these clothes like if that's more your situation I think it's really important to let go of those clothes and definitely at the very least keep them out of sight but I do feel like no one ever talks about like natural weight fluctuations people just say get rid of stuff that doesn't fit you and it's like I know for a fact that throughout my life I will teeter around size 12 so I won't be getting rid of any of my favorite pieces that don't fit me anymore I just put them away with my summer clothes they are gonna be packed away but yeah I just I just wanted to talk about that I just I've not seen this conversation before so I'm glad we had a little chat I'm trying to make sure you understand the gravity of the situation there are just a lot of jumpers I've got a few things that I want to take to the dry cleaners slash tailors. So I just wanna go through what sort of things I'm hoping to get repaired. So I've got this black jumper from Topshop and I just really love this jumper. It's just so cozy, the fit's really nice. It was one of my favorites, but I clearly got a bit of bleach on it at some point because there's just like this little bleach spot. So I'm gonna take this to my local repair guy and see if he can do anything because <laughs> my um, workaround for quite a while has been that I have been coloring it over with a black Sharpie, but it's not really, it doesn't really work. So I'm hoping they'll be able to like do a little bit of dye on it. We'll see. I'm gonna be taking a couple of things to get like dry cleaned or steamed or whatever. And then I have this jumper as well. Okay, so I shared this on Instagram yesterday Today, just to see if anyone knew if it could be fixed for a start. I was like, I don't know how I've done this, but I've got like holes basically in this jumper and it's pretty new as well. There are just a couple across the arm. So I'm gonna see if anything can be done about this. But I noticed yesterday when I took it off that my ring was catching on the jumper. So that is probably what's happened. And I guess it's just a reminder to look after your clothes, be careful with them 
especially jumpers like this. Like I love jumpers like this, but they are so easy to get holes in. And I just need to be a lot more careful when I wear them. You know, maybe just take off my rings or tuck them in before I take it off. Just getting into the habit of doing that and thinking that through. Cause I literally only got this second hand like two weeks ago and I've already ruined it. So hopefully he can fix these two things. That's what I'm doing to look after my clothes. Okay, so one issue I have with slow fashion is that I like new things. I like trying on new clothes. I like getting new clothes. I like wearing new clothes. I like seeing new clothes on Instagram, but I also get bored of clothes. Basically, something that I'm really trying to do more of is renting clothes. I did this recently when I went to a premiere. You may have seen that in my What I Eat In A Week video. I got to go to the Eating Our Way To Extinction premiere. For that event, I rented a dress and I loved the dress I rented. I felt gorgeous and glamorous and I took so many photos and the dress was worth like 300 pounds, way more than I would ever spend on a dress for an event. But because it was rented, it cost me around 30 quid in the end for me to wear it on that day. I am definitely gonna rent more for formal occasions, but also just everyday life. I am trying out a company called On Loan and I will do a full review for you guys in a separate video. But one of the things that I have this month is this jacket. So this is obviously faux fur. You guys know I'm vegan but it is just like a really cozy coat. It's quite a statement piece and I'm gonna get like a month's wear out of it before I have to return it so I can look all chic and all cute. And then when I have worn it to death, which is something I tend to do, if I get something new and I really like it, I'll wear it a lot and then I won't wear it again for a long time because I wear it to death and I get bored of it and sick of it. So it's just the way I am. And now that I'm renting stuff that I'll wear every day, that I can return at the end. It just feels a bit better. This is something new to me, so I will report back. It's just, I don't have to say goodbye to the joy of having something new just because I'm getting into slow fashion. There are ways around it and sustainable ways of doing things. It doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to feel restrictive. It can still be really fun and kind of indulgent as well whilst you're being sustainable. I have a ridiculous number of shoes for someone that doesn't really wear shoes. Okay, no, I do wear shoes. <laughs> that was really dumb. I just don't wear a big variety of shoes. I think I'll be doing a winter look book soon, but I basically got these boots secondhand off of eBay and I'm just wearing them all the time. They're my new favorite thing. How gorgeous are these? They are so nice. And I think I'm gonna spend pretty much the whole of autumn winter in them. They're quite comfy as well. My first day wearing them, I did like 12,000 steps in them. Obviously I was a little bit sore, but it wasn't awful. So I've got the boots I've got on now. I've got these boots. And then I've also got some small like little ankle boots. And I feel like that's enough boots. That is me sorted for boots. Got my running trainers. And then we just have a few sandals to go through. I look at that. This shoe's falling apart. I spent all summer just wearing my white trainers. I'm gonna spend all winter pretty much in this one pair of boots. I don't need as many shoes as I have, so we're gonna really cull some of these. When it comes to getting shoes first hand, I think a lot of mine are actually from M&S. These are M&S and they are like the comfiest nude heels ever. They are a bit scuffed, doesn't bother me. I like New Look because they label their vegan leather stuff now and also they do wide foot, so I have wide feet, so that is helpful. These are the prettiest shoes ever. Look at that. They're from ASOS. There really aren't many opportunities to wear them, but whenever it happens, I'm very happy for it. Two bin bags full of clothes that I no longer want or need. It's actually not just clothes, there's also accessories like bags and stuff, shoes. So there's a big variety of stuff that I'm getting rid of. It's just, it's so frustrating getting rid of stuff because I still feel very responsible for it. I think the best thing you can do with clothes you no longer want, like sustainability wise, is to sell them online. 
that way you are ensuring your clothes are going to an owner that wants them but that does take a lot of time and effort and it's not something i can really commit to right now i've tried selling online in the past and it is just something that i find incredibly exhausting you have to take the photos you have to list the items and then you have to send it off in a timely manner at the end of it but what i think works for me and what will be the best option between like my convenience and sustainability is probably finding a clothes swap near me so i'm going to go on eventbrite later and i'm going to just search clothes swap and see if there is any locally like where i live in london there probably will be sometime in the next month so i will take some stuff there and it's a chance for me to even find some new things whilst donating my stuff so that could be fun and then there's also charity shops and i don't know i just i'm aware that not everything in charity shops gets sold it is a bit of a murky area like it's okay to donate to charity shops just as long as it's not a big cycle of buying lots of clothes that are cheap and tatty and then giving them to charity shops where the quality isn't good enough for anyone to have it second hand like that is a real issue but yeah i just wanted to talk about what happens to your clothes once you clear them out because so many people do these videos and don't really think about it or discuss it so i just thought it'd be worth having that chat about what is the most sustainable way to get rid of your clothes i guess sorry i'm literally just rushing off trying to get to an event but i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today i hope we've all had some fun so it's just a bit of a weird one when you tidy out your wardrobe because it starts off really fun you know like trying on the pretty dresses and then it escalates into chaos and the little bits of why did i ever start when you're looking around the room at all the mess i'm just so glad i've gone through it all and kind of even just revisited my wardrobe there are some stuff that has just been in my wardrobe it's not even been packed away but i completely forgot it existed so it's really nice to just re-familiarize yourself with what you've got because i feel just excited by my wardrobe again and i'm not really craving any sort of shopping especially at the turn of the season it can be so tempting to just go buy lots of stuff i have made a few purchases lately and i think i will do a thrift haul because like for example these boots they're new i just got those sorry this is meant to be an outro but i just feel very happy with the day we've had so thank you so much for joining me on it and i hope you've enjoyed it too and i hope you're gonna go do your own little declutter and maybe even pick up a few slow fashion habits and i'll leave a few links down below for the sort of things we've discussed I'm heading off to a super drug event they're doing like a product launch so it's just nice to be able to go out again have an excuse to get dressed up i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys again so much for joining me and i hope to see you again soon have a lovely day thank you bye